Hey guys, welcome back, Woody here. This is episode 27 of the Journeyman Save. We're at the end of the season. Um, we have game promotion. We've got four games remaining, and I think if my maths is correct, if we win this game today against um, Triestina, we will go to 85 points with... Wait, how many games left? One, two, three, four, five. Five games left. Uh, yeah, we've got five. If we win this one, we go uh, to 85, which is 14 points, four games remaining, which is only 12 points. Bologna cannot catch us, and we will win the league. So that's why we're back kind of uh, a little bit early today. We probably won't get all five in. I don't know. We'll see how we go. Um, let's cap from where we left. It was somewhere here. Since we left you, we've been awesome. We did lose 1 0 to Sal and uh, Sal and Tana, something like that. Uh, but great vein of form 1 0, 1 0, 2 0, 3 0, 2 0, 1 0, 2 0, 1 0, 4 1, 1 0, 2 0, 3 0 and 6-0 against Calgary. Um, we have been playing in goal. Uh, see, uh, Let's is got injured and uh, Sean Holloway came in for a couple of games and then he got injured. So we brought in third choice Nelson uh, Oliveira's the Chilean. Um, and he's been playing really well. He's considered a goal. In one, two, three, four, five, and in this game here where Alway got injured, he came in and yeah, we haven't conceded since he started, so he's going to start in between the six. The six sticks, other than that, Trezeguet is still smashing them in. Nakata's been awesome. Um, player stats wise, Trezeguet is the fourth best player here. Nakata, Komoto as well. Goals wise, it's Trezeguet leading the way and assists is probably Nakata. It is. We're looking really, really good um, for next year, hopefully. So let's get the game kicked off. Uh, four, four, two. Anyone who stands out here? Probs not. Let's kick the game off. I hope my maths is right. If we win this game, we'll go to eighty-five points. There it is. Oh, Jonas London. I forget. He has been scintillating form since we brought him in. Eight starts, four off the bench, four goals, four assists, seven point five eight. What a buy uh, he has turned out to be. Um, 14 points, 4 games, yeah. So, yeah, they can only get 12 points. If, if Bologna win all their last games, they will finish on 83 points. So, uh, they can't bin us, bin us. They can't beat us, and we will win the league today with Trezeguet, who's added a second. And this looks like it is all but a formality. Uh, I was worried about a small little um, banana skin with these couple of games here. Um, but that apparently doesn't appear to be an issue as we, you know, we were always going to dominate Sarri B. I mean, we've only lost three games, drawn four. Um, as you can see here, in the card adding a fourth. I mean, our team is very good. I don't even know how they got relegated last year, to be honest. Um, but we are going to need to make some changes during the off-season. Uh, you know, oh my god, here we go. This is just turning into a whitewash now, isn't it? Um, it's foot injury. Um, we're probably not going to play. Uh, oh my god, Shooter needs to come off as well. Why is he on the bench? He's terrible. Yeah, anyway, um, take Tudor off. Put Gerardi down there. Um, yeah, because as we've discovered as well, this, this squad is quite old. Um, And we've got a few players out of contract, and you know if you want to get Juventus back up the top of uh, the Italian league and into the Champions League, then you know we've got, we're going to have to start uh, potentially moving some of these older players. Well, there's confirmation we've won Serie B. David Trezeguet, man of the match. The crowd goes wild. The board's ecstatic. The fans love me. 
Um, so why is this history now? Maybe it wasn't. Maybe it was called something else. Anyway, that's our first Saria B title. How funny is that? For all those titles in there. Interesting. And another clean sheet. So one, two, three, four, five clean sheets in a row. Six for Oliveira's. Um, which is funny actually because I actually have got a goalkeeper coming in next year. Um, I mean, that's good. That's good. It's good competition. He's still down as a hot prospect, so we can't, you know. Can't be too uh, disappointed with that. Uh, Junior, uh, he's been really good for us this season, as has uh, uh, Takinadi. I think that's how you say it. Um, but they're both moving on. If we have a look, we were looking through squad before, like, um, this dude, I believe his contract is up. Um, he's not going to get a new one, not at 34. Um, but he is, isn't going to get one either. Um, Brindelli, I think his is running out. He's not going to get one either. Koku, I haven't been really impressed with um, Francesco. Koku, he's got a few more years. He's got three more years on that. So, Nakata, yeah, he could probably stay. Fusco, he's 30. Um, Komoto, 29. He's been really good. Uh, Trezeguet, still 30. can still do a good job, as we know. Rustico, 31. Even though he's 31, I really like Rustico's stats. I think he's, he's a really quality player. Um, Divia, Marco Diveo, um, 31. A lot of international experience. Uh, been used quite sparingly by me this year and haven't really been doing that. I don't know where he'll fit in. Uh, I got Tudor 29. He'll stay as captain. Bresciano's only 28. He's a good squad player. London move in. Um, Sonkaya, who we bought in, did I? Did I show you guys this? And we bought in Faith Sonkaya, uh, Turkish central defender. Uh, he's been a bit. You know, probably just trying to ease his way in. He was 2.5 million. In fact, he can play on the left as well was a bonus. Um, Cipriani as well, the 27-year-old striker. Uh, yeah, we've look, we've got some decent players here. Um, Milan, 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 Van Ovic, Kovic, or Dijan. We'll call him Dijan. He's been pretty good. He's still on 24. Um, Portfield as well. So, um, Dimitru, Dimitru. So I'm really happy with there. If we have a look at the contracts, like I said, one, two, three, four, five players that will be leaving us. If we look at 09, we've got Trezeguet, Dimitru, Dimitru. We want to offer him a new contract. Fosho. Um, I don't know if he's going to, he's not going to want one. I think what we need, I think we'll probably have to tie uh, Trezeguet up. That's a bit irritating. Anyway, we'll, we'll deal with that at a uh, another time. So for the moment, guys, um, we're not going to have a one-game episode. We'll, we'll Brescia, who actually beat us last time around, if we have a look. Um, yeah, they thumped us 3-1, one of our losses this season. So we'll go on and we'll play the Brescia game. Um, maybe Piscara. We'll see how we go. Um, we probably won't fit all five in. It's going to take a bit of time for that. Um, and what I will probably do is then play those last couple of games. Lecce, Messina off camera. Um, maybe, or I don't know. We'll see how we go for time, man. We'll do the usual off season business. It's going to be a very, very busy off season, I think. Um, a lot of player movement. Um, and we'll come back in the uh, top flight in the Italian leagues. Should be good. Looking forward to it. Rattle, rattle, Brescia. Um, let's get rid of old Takarati. He's not going to be around next year. There's no point playing him, is there? There's Cipriani on the bench. Um, 
Yeah, let's get him off the bench for Fusco. Yeah, either one of these two is fine. Uh, Alloway can sit on the bench. Yeah, let's go. Out there. How's everyone tracking? All good. Brescia, Luca Tony, obviously. Um, Brescia still trying to get up. No, they're pretty much well. They're not done. Um, Luca Tony would be a quality signing. We'll see. We will see. Games are just real formalities now. I should bring up some of those youth players. Um, although there's not many there that are really that good. Trezeguet banging in another one. Oh, he is so good. And there is his second, David Trezeguet. He's on course to get 30 league goals. That'll be good for him as he bangs in a 22 minute hat trick. Oh, it's 28 goals for Trezeguet. Um, I don't know if we can we get to 100 points. Uh, no, no, we can get to 97. Um, that'd be a lot harder to get. We've got a defense though, 21. Torres has been pretty good with 27. They only scored 49 goals. We've banged in 82, which is the most. So, um, it's an easy. This is just, it's got a thigh injury. Let's get him off. Um, we're just, going through the motions here it well, I say going through the motions not really just going through the motions kind of means that we're not really in it but we're putting pressure to the sword here and um, mm, yeah let's bring him on um, uh, you know what let's not do that. Let's put um, him behind. Jonas London can come off. It's funny how we managed to get Jonas London to come down from the Premier League to Sarri B. It's so weird. I mean, it's Juventus reputation and all that. Um, we kind of took our foot off the gas after 22 minutes. But that's the first goal that Nelson uh, Oliveras has conceded in what? Well, maybe six, seventh game. So that's. That's crazy. Yep, there you go. Uh, where is it? Here it is. First conceded goal. So let's push him down to reserves. Junior. Down to the reserves. Just down to the reserves. Um, there's no point having any of these guys. Um, here really uh, it's so harsh um, that guy's pretty good um, there's a lot of these guys in here he's alright I suppose he's Blanchard this French kid who we just signed as well not bad. Um, Matanelli. Mm, not great. Mm. Did I just sign that kid? No, he came through a youth system. He's pretty ordinary. He's pretty good. Adamo. Um, yeah. Mm. So a couple of guys promoted up here. That's finding it hard to adjust to the Italian lifestyle. Brilliant. And uh, he's really good too. Not very really agile, but uh, I'll leave that one because you never know with that bloody leave of absence rubbish. All right, let's play Pescara. Um, and then we'll, uh, I'll call it a day um, on this video. Just the three. We won the league. That was the main thing. But actually, now I'm. I don't know how many. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
what if we in a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven in a row, eight, nine, ten, eleven, eleven. I wonder. Um, ch -ch -ch -ch. Don't know, where is it? Most games went in a row ten. No, huh. most games without losing. We did thirteen this year. Can we beat that ten? One. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. We can equal it. Um, that rule with spell has ruined that because it would have been one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. We've won for fourteen games without loot. Um, fourteen games winning in a row. That would have been amazing. We should do it next year in the uh, in Serie A. That's what we'll do. I wonder who's going to come up with us. That'll be interesting. Probably, um, this is a big game here between Napoli and Salantana. Salantana. Well, I don't know how you say that. Big Sal. Not to be confused with Big Spall. Uh, they drew nil all. Bologna. Over the way they're coming up. Yeah, it's probably going to be those three. Torres a little bit far behind. Called up the front squad. Torino. Ah, uh, ha, ha. Big, big rivals there of uh, Juventus. Torino. Pretty sure they are. Palermo. Alright. Uh, a couple of changes here. We've Put um, Blanchard on the bench, uh, Adamo on the bench, uh, Spahic, we're going to give a start to. Um, yeah, we're going to, yep, something like this. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A couple of changes there, you can see them. Uh, actually, let's get um, Koku off for Dimitri Dimitri. Sure, have those numbers, guys, for the moment. Kick off the bench against Pescara. They are down the bottom fighting. Rel I, no, they're probably safe from relegation, I think. Um, just give some of those youth players a couple of, a couple of games towards the end of the season, which, uh, you know, it's been a really, really successful season. I, I wasn't too worried about not getting promotion, with the, as I've said a million times before, with the quality that's in this team. Um, you know, we can definitely, um, Mark Bresciano is really quite injury prone actually, isn't he? Um, yeah, and I mean, realistically, we've got a good top, top, top flight team here. Like, you know, with this team, we can easily do well next year. Um, so... I think a couple of good tweaks, and we can, um, yeah, we'll, we'll definitely be um, be up there with everyone else next year. I still can't believe Nelson Oliveres. He's just it's just one goal he's conceded. A Carter there. There is Kovalenko getting his first goal. The Ukrainian who wants to leave the club because he's unhappy. So what he wants you to leave, mate, because I think we're really good. Um, we'll see how we go for money. It could be could be a case to let players like um, I don't know Divaya go as well as. Um, Cipriani as well could be another one they could leave if we want to keep in Kovalenko uh, and the like but once again a really solid win another clean sheet oh this team should be good when we, and have I just no that wasn't the team who played oh it's Serie A as well Bonia coming up there coming up Napoli there you go it's all decided with uh, two games left to play Apart from the relegation scrap down the bottom here. Um, oh, there it is, guys. 
Um, I look at my manager stats. I'm the best manager in Italy. Um, 20th best manager in the world. I find that weird. Um, I won't be in there as well. Where is, where is the manager stats? Um, you five leagues won, one cup, 17 awards. Um, look at this. So good. And look at this actually as well. Interesting. Players bought 63 million, players sold 62 million. I've actually only spent 1 million pounds in money. That's interesting. Uh, Trez Gaze on 28. He'll be looking at banging two more goals. G girls? Goals? No, that was that was wrong. <laughs> Over the next two games against Lecce and Messina. Um, we're going to leave it there, guys, anyway. And next time we come back, we will be in Serie A with Juventus.